You gotta be prepared when you do CrossFit. Judge Mark Carter has a lot to work through. A few days ago, he lost his campaign for re-election as a criminal court judge in Harris County. He'd been on the bench for 15 years. Complete slaughter. Complete slaughter, man. It was the nuclear option. <laughs> they took everybody out, uh, good and bad. Carter was one of 59 Republican judges who got wiped out by Democrats, thanks to an unusual quirk in the Texas election process. Voters can cast a straight ticket, meaning they check a single box and automatically vote for every Republican or every Democrat on the ballot. Harris County has been trending blue for years now, but Beto O'Rourke brought out a surge of Democratic voters. Carter lost to someone who didn't even bother to campaign. What happened in the election here? You know, what happened in this election was what happens in every election in Texas. And that is, you know, is going to be a party that wins. Is that frustrating to you? You know, not, not when you go into the game knowing what the rules are. When I accepted an appointment as a Republican and ran as a Republican for 15 years, I knew that being elected was not based on how good a job I was doing because there, all of the Republicans that ran in the previous years all had the same number of votes that I had. The changes that are coming to Houston's criminal justice system have reformers like Jay Jenkins seriously excited. For 19 black women and a socialist to be elected judge in Houston, which is the epicenter of mass incarceration, um, is not a small deal. For the past few years, Jenkins's group has been fighting to reform Houston's bail system, which has left the city's jails packed with people who haven't been convicted of anything. A federal court recently found the practice unconstitutional. The possibility that we could fix some of the issues that the, the sitting judges have just proved unwilling or unable to fix is on the horizon. You know, just the possibility of, of getting it done is, is an improvement of, over what we had. But Stephen Halper, a public defender in Harris County, agrees that new faces on the bench will be a good thing. But he worries about what it'll mean to have so many new judges who weren't exactly picked for their resumes. You have a number, quite a few, of the new judges that have never tried a murder case, let alone a capital murder case. It's going to be a, a learning experience for everybody, and that's not always good, especially if you're a defendant. Were there some judges that, that lost that really didn't deserve to lose? There are judges that are universally liked by the defense bar, prosecutors, and that's unusual, and it's sad to see them go, but if they are going to do straight ticket, you're going to get some good judges in, but you're going to lose some really good judges. This is a, a <laughs> relic here, huh? This campaigning hasn't traditionally been a big part of your job. No. No, I hate it. <laughs> Texas is doing what it can to prevent this kind of thing from happening again. In 2020, there'll be no more straight ticket voting. Only seven states will still have it. But judges will still be elected, and the process will continue to be partisan. Is this the right way to choose judges in oh, of course Harris not. County? No, no. The best way to select judges is through a nonpartisan appointment and retention system. You can either be a good politician or you can be a good judge. You can't be both. 